Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohutech. I am Rohan from Rohutech.com and today in this video we will be looking at how we can import dummy data in our newly installed WordPress site. So you might be wondering why would somebody want to import dummy data to its site. So for that I will share my experience that while working on one of the WordPress website my team found out that the default lazy loading of the WordPress is not working on one of our clients website which was on WordPress 5.5. So to check if default lazy loading really works on default theme of WordPress I installed the latest WordPress and to check lazy loading is working or not I had to import some dummy data and that's where I found out that how we can import the dummy data to our newly installed WordPress. So before that I just wanted to show you that uh, this is uh, these are some of the URLs I'll just uh, paste it in my description box. So these are some of the uh, links where you will find the older versions of WordPress. So I wanted to check on one of the 5.5 version. So likewise you can just check on any of these versions if you want what is the behavior of any kind of feature you wanted to check on your WordPress website and you can just download any of these versions and try to install that and check what is the default behavior of that. The, this is how you can actually get the older versions of WordPress. There's another uh, link. So this contains all the release notes of that particular version. So say uh, you want to check 5.7 latest version release notes. So this is where you go 5.7. So every time WordPress uh, releases a new version, this is how WordPress posts uh, article on its blog and here you can come across all the release notes and of course you can see the names of some of the best WordPress developers who all contributed to this release. So now let's move on to the process of importing dummy data. So here is our latest 5.7 WordPress installed locally on my Mac. If you want to check out how you can install WP locally on your Mac without MAMP application the link is in the i button and also in the description. Alright so let's log into the admin dashboard first and here under tools click on import here as you can see you can import all kinds of data from some other system as well like here you can see from blogger you can import posts comments like similarly you can import posts and media from tumblr so for this particular tutorial uh, we'll be just importing the post pages and comments from other wordpress website so for that i have a github url here and in which it has dummy data so I'll download the zip and this is the zip I'll unzip it in the zip folder as you can see there is no physical image or there is no physical post file it is all in the XML file and as soon as I'll try to import this XML file all the data will be imported like fetch from this github repository and it will be imported to your WordPress so for that we'll first install this WordPress importer Okay, now our importer is successfully installed. Let's click on run importer and here we have an interface where we can choose to upload this XML file. Now before uploading this XML file, let me show you that uh, in the post there are there is only one post right now and in the pages also there are these two pages. So as soon as we will be importing the demo data, the posts and the pages will have some more uh, dummy data. So let's upload this file and import. And here you can see that it is asking us to assign authors. So you can just read out this description here. They basically want to tell you that instead of the existing author they have in your import, in their import file, uh, they have given us uh, option to set our own authors to their existing posts. So we can just select this option, assign post to an existing user. And why we are doing is because whenever they will be trying to import new users for them then they will be uh, randomly password generated, there will be a user role and all those kind of things. So it is always better to manually change the user, uh, assign the existing user to the uh, post which will be imported from that particular file. And also remember to check this box because it will download and import the file attachments which are in the XML file. Let's click on submit. So it will take a take some time because it will go on this github repository it will try to fetch all the 
information all all the data which was in the xml file to our wordpress website okay so it is all done remember to update the passwords and roles of the imported users so it is just giving us a caution but we don't have to bother about this because we have used the existing users as our authors so this is the dashboard so here you can see the posts some pages imported there are some comments as well three are unapproved three are pending so all kind of data you will be getting as a dummy data for testing purpose uh, let's say in the media as well see in the media also we have the some images now and now let's check out the main website so this is how all the data is imported there are a few images in between for some of the posts some other older posts so this is how the data is imported and this is how you can see your data so thank you so much for watching this video uh, i'll come up with some other similar videos on this channel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching